going to look at today is some variations on the technique. Spinning fire, second degree black belt in the Tracy Kempo system. Our frame of reference on any time we go to disarm a firearm is going to be to come up, clear the muzzle away from the body, and gain control of the wrist. This is going to be an inside gun technique because we're going to be moving to the inside of our opponent. I come up, I clear, I step in, and I trap the arm and control the firearm. Take it from a, this side. As the gun is presented, I clear, step in, control. I hook down with my arm, and I'm controlling the wrist with my right hand, and I can grab the firearm at this point, and I can twist and apply pressure. In addition, depending on the foot placement of my opponent, I can step to the outside. I pin and trap, control the wrist, control the firearm, getting a twist. I also have a very nice takedown here by throwing a hard bow. I twist, throw my opponent to the ground, drop my knee into his ribs, control the firearm at all times, take it out of his hand, drop it down. To either move or be stuck. Some subtle variations on the technique. Let's say, for example, he has his right leg forward. As I come into clear, I happen to hook to the inside of the leg, much like the black belt technique, the lock. I hook and trap it with the inside of my foot. I control his knee. I'm still pinning, trapping the elbow grabbing the firearm, applying pressure, and now I'm going to buckle his knee to the inside, taking him to the ground. Always maintaining control and distance, making sure that the muzzle is never pointed back at me. My opponent didn't read the manual. I go to clear, capture, I go to hook this leg, he pulls it back away from me. I simply pin, trap, I come up with an extended heel hook, kicking him to the groin. I apply a hip throw against his arm, taking the firearm away. Knee drop to break the ribs, drop the firearm down on the head. Once again, Variations of spinning fire. The firearm is pointed. Notice it's not to the outside, it's to the inside. As he draws the firearm, I step in and I gain control. Again, quickly moving in. Switch sides. Now what I'm going to have Jim do this time, as I move in, I'm going to have him attempt to pull the firearm away from me. So as he presents the firearm, I come up, I clear, and I've got control here. Pull it away. I've gained control. Common question. Can he be punching me in the head? Sure. You're behind the eight ball. He's got a firearm on you. So your objective is to get this away from him. Could he be punching you on the head? Yes. It is a fight and he gets a vote. Okay. Spinning fire. 